here for every three faction war. This is Katrin Purification Plant and Orcs versus Tyranids for the Blue Orky team. We've got two war bosses. First up is Crewfinity, and we also have Shroom. These guys are melee heroes that walk through objects. Very good offense, disruption, and support from the front lines. Alongside Rostam 313 is a commander knob, infiltrating commander that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky style begins range combat with a twin link shooter. Extra sneaky over here with a hood. Red Tyranid team for Klinsky is a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt with some awesome offense and a little bit of support too. And alongside two Hive Tyrants, first up, Furos Mid, and we also have YZ, or YZ as some may say. These guys walk through objects and cannot be suppressed. Some good offense, disruption, and support begin in melee combat with a basic synapse. Orcs versus Tyranids then, should be fun. I wonder if we'll see some of those. Thorax Swarm Warrior Brood fellas, new in 2.7. Contested VP over here on this western side, though it's kind of close to the middle ish. All three VPs relatively close together on this map. I expect a weird boy from each Orky player to control all these tyrannies. It would be nice to see some pain boys running around, especially for the war bosses, because if you have a pain boy, sluggers, and a war boss, then the termagants can't crypt and poison all of them, unless you have three termagants. We might see a big 2v2 fight here early. Double Hive Tyrants though is tough to deal with. They need to be at the front of their armies trying to bait that stun bump and they dodge it well, taking some shots though while they do so. And now we'll see them engage. Sluggers moving in. Meeting those Hormagons. Those Sluggers backing away though so the Hormagons can take full damage from the Dakar. Most units will take reduced damage while they're in melee combat from ranged weapons. So there is a little bit of strategy to try and to bait melee units with one of your melee units and then backing off. So they'll take that full damage. Those had a Tyranids win. Pirate of Tyranids too big and scary and Hormagons getting in amongst things. Did some good damage there. War boss is going to be fine maybe. High of Tyrant and some Hormagons on retreat path and another High of Tyrant is not going to be fine at all. Down he goes. 4, 3, 8, 500 very early on with a 2 to 1 cap. For the Tyranids having taken this west side. They don't have a Ravener, so they can't put up a little Hive node over here. But they can brood nest it up with improved synapse from the Hive Tyrants and stuff. This guy already has Rending Talons. This got a nerf in 2.7 because now the Seismic Roar costs 60 energy to use. There it is. So you can't charge in and use it with a level 2 Hive Tyrant, which is a pretty big blow because I love doing that. This guy's also getting some Rending Talons, so those Sluggers are going to have a real tough time, I think. Real tough time. Trufinity with double Sluggers and replacing some Shooter Boys here, I think. Furo Smid is getting a Warrior Brood. Barb Strangler early on, maybe, into the Thorax Swarm. There's user Choppers on some Sluggers. Some of them died, though. These guys are staying in for now, but they can't deal with all of that. All of that melee and all of that firepower from the Termigants. Termigants getting upgraded. These guys with their Toxin Sacks. Orcs struggling to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Look how long those Hormagons stayed in that fight. Soaked up a lot of damage. And the Hive Tyrant just leading a line. Level 2 this guy already. This guy's still level 1. No sign of improved Synapse. Extended Carapace is on the way for YZ. Spawn mines on the way for Foklinski. What's going on on this east side? Looks like the war boss is bashing through over here. He's got his boss pole. You might see that from Crew Finity as well since he's got a bunch of orcs around him. No sign of it yet. Commander Knob trying to revive here. Should be able to get it. And that will level him to two. Shooter boys with their knob leader. Gives him a bit more durability out on the field. The detector from this guy is not going to be super useful over on this west side. But extra firepower, extra durability, always good for your tier 1 squads. Kicking off east side. Where is that Lictor? He's coming out of base now. Maybe should have waited for the Lictor to come out before he sent his army forward. With double Hormagons here, controlled quite nicely by the Cyborg Implant's big stomp of Shroom. The boss bow, of course, buffing all of his boys. Kicking off the west side, I think. Stun Bomb goes in. Taking the half Tyrant and some Termigants out of the fight momentarily. For well, his double Warrior Broods from these two players. One each. 
power melee squad did a nice leap into combat but one of them switched into the barb strangler which is going to be do wonders against the orcs in tier one help control that war boss as well there's his big stomp there from crew finity also with the cyborg gib plants and he's gone for the bang bang hammer looks like he'll get away over there warrior brudo in amongst some orcs here well wow, sluggers just getting dealt with in tier one Without their knob leader, they're not much of a threat early on, it seems, against these Tyranid armies. Leaping in again, those warriors. Wow, that's an insane amount of disruption there. From a passive leap and a special attack goes off too. Shooter boys dealt with. Termigant's crippling the sluggers. Trying to get in on those warriors with their burners, which do count as power weapons. So they can do a lot of damage to the heavy armor warrior brood. Try and get those synapse bombs going off. Weren't able to take down a single Warrior Brood model, I don't think. Quanonob has his stick bombs. Great choice against groups of Tyranids, of course. That's a nice throw. Combines it with aiming what's that to suppress them and slow them down. Got a model. And makes them run away. Now, has this power been bashed or are they just not built on it? I'm not sure. It's now got triple gens going up, though. War Tower's been spotted by some Bormagaunts. These guys going after it now. Might drop some models as they do so. Here comes the Hive Tyrant charging in from YZ. Now needs to wait a few seconds before he can use his Seismic Roar though. Should be using it now. Perfect time to use it. There we go. And gets away with it. We have Looters up from Rostam. Nice choice to try and keep that Hive Tyrant at bay. He won't be suppressed by it, but he will take a lot of damage if he wants to get close. Barb Strangler Warrior Brood trying to take on the edge of disengagement here to try and just keep something in place so they can't just run through and go after the power. Going to be tough though to stop all this. More suppression on the war boss. But wow, Warrior Brood getting focused down by tons of Ducker. Commander Nob doing some good DPS with his default weapon and he fires it on the move pretty nicely. I believe it's got pretty decent accuracy on the move unless that was nerfed. Lots of Ducker now on the generators. Wow, look how quickly they go down. With four shooter boys fully upgraded, I think. That went down super fast, but here comes some more Tyranids. What's going on middle here? This is Furos Mid, who also has extended carapace for some charging goodness. For Klinsky, with a warrior brood of his own, it's got a barb strangler, but he's lost a lot of his army, looks like, lost both of his Hormagaunts. And he's gone into tier 2. In fact, all the Tyranid players in tier 2 are going. Same can't be said for the Orcs. Spending that power early to try and control the Tyranids. But the Burner Sluggers haven't done a whole lot. Although the Burners does give them more hit points. So that might have kept them alive and stuff. Leveling up here to War Boss level 2. Now fully kitted out. Bang Bang Hammer, Cyborg and the Boss Pole. Pretty powerful build for a tier 1 hero. No reason why I couldn't keep that throughout the game. All useful. Passive health buffs always useful. Stuns always useful. And the buffs from the Bang Bang Hammer. Pretty damn good. And 75 melee DPS not bad either. Use the choppers, sluggers. Trying to take down some warrior brood models. They get one. Can they finish off this squad here? It's caught in retreat in a bad, bad place. Smack. They do get away with two models. Perhaps lucky to do so. But those guys have adrenal glands where he really doesn't want to lose them. He's got a tyrant guard up as well. Here it is. 2,500 hit points of super heavy infantry armor. Going to barge through the front lines. Try and keep the orcs controlled with its special attacks and stuff as well. Down goes that hive tyrant. Might be tricky to revive that guy way out there. Blue orcy team having to retake their natural VP. But they will get it back. There's a capillary tower. Nice target for the Bob Strangler. Hormagons getting in there. Wow, munching on those shooter boys and they finished them off. Beautifully done by these Hormagorts. These are Adrenal Gland fellas. Level 2 now. 2, 3, 5, 4, 9, 1. We've seen the Hormagorts doing quite a lot early on in this left side. Lost the indicator for YZ here, but he's level 2 with extended, extended carapace and rending talons. The central contested power point is red and tyranny. We've got some gene stealers. Up for Fuklinski with Rending Claws. Incredibly powerful melee superiority squad. Bad news for the Sluggers. 
And for the war boss if he doesn't have his big stomp off cooldown. Trying to get in there. There is the big stomp. Stunning, knocking back, doing damage. But then he's going to be set upon by a whole bunch of Tyranids. He doesn't want to fight this engagement here. Needs the weird boy up. Needs that weird boy up. Would be amazing here to just shut down that blob coming towards you. Ouch. Yeah, he needs that weird boy. Crew Finity. Sorry, Shroom. Is Shroom over there, is it? Yeah, Shroom. And he is getting a weird boy. Crew Finity is on his west side. He's going for some more shooter boys. I guess he lost one. Wants to replace him. He's got some storm boys up with their knob leader straight out the gate as well. And they'll fight the warrior brood pretty nicely, I think. With all that power melee and the heavy melee of the knob leader. And they land with a stun, of course. 235 to 438. Turn is looking pretty swarmy and pretty dangerous here. Here's the Tyrant Guard. Has almost 100 DPS heavy melee. A nice special, there it is. Got quite a long an animation, but it does decent damage, I think. And good knockback, as you saw. Now he's fighting the Storm Boys, though. And these guys have power melee. And as you can see, they are tearing through the health of the Tyrant Guard. But do they have enough to stay in this fight? Because he's picking off models here. There's the shield wall mode. Giving it vehicle armor and some health regen. Kicking off around his power, as you can see. In the background, some more Storm Boys. These are Rostams, using their Bomber Boys to disrupt and do damage. Set up some fights. Commando is stuck. Gonna be eaten, I think. Yep, doesn't get away. But it should be get revived pretty easily from there. Shield wall, tyrant guard. Shrugging off the shooter boys fire pretty easily. They're now taking shots at this hive tyrant. Here come some sluggers. And they are now, with their nobida, way more dangerous. A lot more of a threat to the tyranid units. Hive tyrant doesn't even want to stick around with slugger boys around. He's level 3. With extended carapace, but didn't want that fight at all. He's got two armies on him, that's why. Capillary Tower. No more any further back that I can see. Warrior Brood on capping duty. What's going on east side? Slugger Boy is getting deep in. Bashing some gens, I guess, but they are forced to retreat. Genes to the Brood, not something they want to fight, really. Big stomp. Kind of whiffs. Should have tried to get in amongst those termagants before he used it, I think, but he was crippled. Bomber Boys misses as well, pretty much. Tyrant Guard needs to be careful. Doesn't have any synapses. Very, very slow. Something that hugely benefits from synapses is the Tyrant Guard. Looks like it's going to go down here. Wow. Storm Boy is dealing with him very, very quickly. Triple 2, 4 0 2. Shroom going tier 3. All the Tyranids already tier 3 or going. Furo Smid is going to be the last Tyranid to get there. Big Stomp again. Been a decent tool for them to use. That's it. Storm Boys need to get into those back lines and stop the Warrior Brood and the Termagants having free reign to do whatever they want. But how long can they stay back there? Hard Boys and user choppers on them. But Gene Stillers are using their Adrenal Rush thing. Dealt with though, they are dealt with. All the DAC are backing them up, helped them out there. Oh, but they lost their knob leader, these guys. And now getting flanked by some Tyranids from YZ. And this is a nasty flank on these double shooter boys. Holy crap, this is going to be painful, maybe. Oh, big high explosive shells. Maybe saving one of those squads, although they look like they might get away there. Even without it. That was the special shooter. He's now getting his mega boom kit. He's level 4, that commando. What about this fella? He's level 3. Just the guy with the bang bang hammer. Buffing his units on hit if they're close enough. Does it tell me the radius here? Radius 28. Wow, that's pretty big. I thought it was like 15 or something. Orcs bashing generators east side. He's done well over here. Has Shroom. Kept Fuklinski back for the most part. But now he's in tier 3. And he's close-ish to getting some monstrous creatures out. But with the power going down, it might take him a while. Look at this Orcs. Orcs pushing back across the map here. Profinity confused about something. Not sure what that was. 
Two to one now for the Orcs. Can they hold on? They are also tier three, which you know that means knobs and flash kits. Only one Orc player going for the Weird Boy. That's surprising to me. A lot of these engagements, I think, would have been shut down and swayed greatly by a Weird Boy presence. Storm Boys with a choice, and they've done pretty well. Tyrion is taking back the contested. Get that 2 to 1 back. But VPs are just over 100 apart right now. Don't really have a presence over here right now. Orcs should be able to sweep back through. Maybe touch this power, stop those monstrous creatures coming out so quickly. Or I say that, Fury Smid already has a Carnifex on the way. 208340. Termigrants might wipe if they're not careful. Almost went down there. Just from sheer daca of these shooter boys leveling up to three and stuff. That was high explosive shells. Warrior Brood in amongst the shooter boys though. Not a good place for the orcs there. Trying to kill one of those Warrior Brood models. And more Warrior Brood called in by who? Who is this? Furo Smid. Calling in even more of these fellas. Can they take out one of the shooter boys? No, those guys barely getting away with 53 hit points or thereabouts. War boss is going to die trying to cap. Commander up here stunning himself trying to stun these Tyranids. 191340. High explosive shells going off again. He's holding up this little force here quite well and now he's got a bunch of backup and that is insane amounts of range damage on those warrior brood models looted tank on the field it's a decent choice at this stage knob squad is up from shroom carnifex for for Klinsky. we did see one from furo smith where is it here it is no upgrade yet bob strangler you would think but uh, he might go thorn back to fight the knobs toe to toe Orcs, they're trying to take that contested power, but with the Carnifex bearing down on you. Those guys backing off there. There's Zap from the Weird Boy in the back lines of those Termigants. And Carnifex getting stuck in. It is a Barb Strangler, but it's getting into melee for some reason. I guess it is still a Carnifex in melee, which is pretty scary. There's a ton of formation. That would have been really painful for those Orcs if they didn't run away there. Now he's buffing all of these Tyranids now, the Tyranid Formation. Carnifex getting way too close to the action. Might go down here. Tyranid Formation might stop the knobs, but one of them still chasing. Wow. Very close to going down very quickly there. Just 50 hit points on that Carnifex. Double looted tanks on this side. Venom Cannon Hive Tyrant. Level 3 for YZ. To fight these... Um, Looted tanks is now much more of a focused anti-vehicle weapon with no splash on it any longer, I don't think. Look at the damage it's doing as well to this looted tank here. No, why are you switching targets? Keep shooting this one. Couldn't stay in fight any longer. Needs to get his shield up, I think. Oh, went down, taken out by Storm Boys and stuff, but that tank did get finished off by the Toronto Formation there. Look at them. Tons of spies around. Knob Squad way deep in Tyranid territory, supported by a war boss here. Is this the one with the boss pole? It's Shroom with a boss pole. Both war bosses getting a boss pole actually is going to be great for those big team fights. For, Skl for Klinsky with a kind of effects of his own, he's gone for the thorn back. Takes it up to 1650 hit points. Used to get more than that. Was nerfed quite a while ago. Used to get like 1875 or something mental, I think. Or was it 1750? Something like that. Knob squad on the way now for crew finity, but no side can stabilize on this west side, really. I mean, Tyranids and Orcs, not really known for stabilizing around a contested VP super well. They don't have land raiders or anything like that. Tyranids can get brood nests. I haven't seen a single brood nest yet from the Hive Tyrants on that west side to try and stabilize and hold that point. 
commandos on the field here for Rostam. Very shrewd choice, I think, with the burner bombs and disruption. Especially if Fuklinski with this melee blob, melee blob of... Oh, he doesn't have any melee warriors. Got double Barb Strangler Warriors and Gene Celebrate. You used to see that in retail sometimes. Double Barb Strangler Warriors. Spore Mines. Doing some exploding and they do this damage over time stuff now. No longer suppress, which is a bit weird. Big Stomp. Level 4 War Boss hit. Trying to go to war against these little Tyranid fellas. Big retreat there from Double Shooter Boys though. I guess they were caught by the um, suppression and didn't want to get stuck in melee. 191 to 242. Jumping in at the Storm Boys. What is their target here? It's got to be the Barb Trangler Warriors, right? Yep, they're going after him. There's the high explosive shells as well. And the Bomber Boy. Disruption all over. Orcs can bring so much of it. Thornback Carnifex eating a. I think it's a Slugger, is it? Yeah, and that was a slugger knob actually. Charging in, ouch, to a big blob of shooter boys caught against the wall there. That was painful. Awesome work from that Carnifex. He's still in level one though. Knob squad have found a capillary tower to let their anger out on. And they're holding this west side for now, are the orcs? Tyranids, I feel like, kind of losing steam here. Unable to stay in the engagements for very long. Need to all get together, I think. Keep their ranged kind effects of back behind a wall of Tyranids and get to work. Can't let their Barb Trangler guys get exposed. And here we see the Nobs Frenzy. Big change for the Nobs, of course, in 2.7. Frenzy no longer gives damage immunity. Now gives them a 75% resistance instead. Although, I, I guess if you put um, Ard Boys on top of the Frenzy, then they get damage immunity again. I'm not sure how that stuff will stack. But yeah, that was a big change. They still keep their suppression immunity, so they can still use it to get into combat. Which is pretty damn important for the knobs. But losing suppression immunity is a big deal. 191 to 180. Orcs are ticking down the timer for the Tyranids. Double Commandos here. For Rostam, level 2 and level 1. Rocket launcher to fight Carnifexes. They've got anti vehicle damage, they've got disruption, they got burner bomb for area denial. Can do a whole lot for you, commandos. More knobs on the way for Shroom. Orcs looking very strong here. Very strong. Tyranny is to try and turn this around with a big fight. War Boss still doing good work with his big stomp there and gets away. Commandos level 8. And here come the Commandos. 191, 155. Does he have his rocket launcher to switch to? I don't think so. Kind of fixed charges away. These Tyranids getting attacked from two sides. Might want to back off here. Staying in the fight for now. Oh, he forces those guys off pretty quickly. There's that Love the Daka disruption. Look at that. It lasts for a while too. Stun bomb. Strange place to throw it, but I think he was expecting him to back off there. Kind effects might get chased down. Where are those commandos? They ran away. Looted tank's going to try and chase it a little bit. Pour some damage on. Make it stay at base a bit longer healing up. But Orc still looking pretty damn strong here. You have two looted tanks on the field, one from Proofinity here, one from Rostam that you saw in the center. Zone throw on the way for Fuklinski. Is it just, oh it's three kind of effects on the field for the Tyranids. They've had their power hit a lot on this east side I think. Even now it still only, only has two generators up, this one only has two generators up. They have a decent amount of power. They've just been bled. A lot in every fight, it seems like. Knob Squad here trying to chase down this Carnifex. Double Knob Squad, in fact. Here comes this Lictor Alpha. Not seen a lot of this fella. He's got his Toxic Cysts, Pheromone, and Feeder Tendrils, so he's a pretty powerful hero. 
going off to that knob squad doing some good work as well warrior brood there though in a dicey position losing two models and then running away uh oh zone throw in massive amounts of trouble not gonna get out of that no way did not last very long did it what was it doing so far forward knob squads is running right here 191 to 82 Orcs could get this game right now with his 2 to 1 cap. This Barb Trango Carnifex in a really bad place does not have its melee resistance because it's got a ranged weapon and it's getting chased down by fully upgraded Knob Squad, I think. No, they don't have the Knob Eater, but they will get it. An extra hammer to swing, and that guy is like 10, 50 hit points or something, that Knob Leader. Carnifex gets away. Oh, here's the rocks to finish him off, maybe has 16 hit points one more touch from the knob squad down it goes there it is that tank got super super close there needs to keep moving back or the warrior brood will finish it off there 191 to 56 look how long this knob squad is staying in the fight pair of tyrant level 7 with a psychic scream extended carapace and rendered talents using their frenzy to get out of combat there i think I'm going to catch those warriors on retreat there. And now even that is too much for even the knob squad to deal with. Carnifex still level 1 this fella. Another looted tank from Crewfinity. Still the 2 to 1 cap. Tyrion is never able to really get going. They started off strong but as soon as tier 2 came up and the storm boys hit the field and that weird boy. Orcs have done superbly well. Hit tier 3 just the right time. Got a nice varied tier 3 army with knobs and looted tanks and commandos. And the only answer they offered was Carnifexes basically which have been dealt with pretty nicely. I don't think we saw... Have you got your thorax? Oh they've got their thorax. So it doesn't have a tool tip. They do have their thorax bomb thing. Gets you electroshock grubs and desiccate a lava. You can look up all those notes on Donovan.info. But there's the game. A double cap at the end for the orcs takes it. I didn't notice a single thorax swarm bomb thing go off. I'm sure they did. And I just missed them all. Because they get a grenade icon, I think, with it. Let's have a look here. Yeah, look, they've got a grenade icon. No tooltip, though. 191. I mean, they got the VPs relatively low, under a 200, but Orcs looked very powerful, especially when tier 3 hit. Commandos, level 3 commandos there. Knobs all around. Looted tanks. Nice varied army, and played the engagements well, even without weird boys, which is surprising. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.